Hello and welcome back to the Common Cult Podcast. The Colts Podcast is real takes and no clickbait. I'm Josh Hudgens, joined by Dan Hertzler. What's up, Dan? Hey, we got a victory, although it's in another country. I still think it still counts, right? But we got a victory? I think so. Uh, yeah, man, these games, man, I tell you what, it just feels uh, more and more like, uh, did we win? Did we lose? How do we feel? What's going on? Is this team good? There's so many questions around this Colts team, but hey, uh, Common Colt Podcast, we like to do one-word reaction. So, Josh, what's your one-word reaction with the victory today? You know, I'm, I'm happy. Actually, happier than I was last week. I know it was in Germany, and we all were kind of groggy watching the game, but uh, the truth is, we beat Bill Belichick, and, and we beat the Patriots. And any time we can stick the knife in the stomach of the Patriots, I feel good. Uh, the game itself, we'll talk about that in a little bit, but... It just feels good to beat Bill Belichick and watch his reaction on the sideline after after the interception and stuff like that. Good game. Yeah, yeah. My one word reaction is it's it's eh, unknown. Like I'm I'm just I don't know about this team. I don't know how I should be feeling right now. I'm all with you with the Patriots. Anytime we can beat them, I think that's a good thing. Even though they stink, they stink uh, bad. I'm excited for some of the the things I'm seeing as far as some of the younger players. I'm excited about the coaching staff. I'm excited about where this team is is going in the future. I just, man, I, I, this team just lacks kind of really that, uh, man, I don't know if it's that, uh, you know, excitement or that, uh, uh, you know, that punch that they have. Both offense and defense just kind of feels like they're muddling through uh, and they somehow pull out a win. Um, now, again, how far can that take them? Uh, is that going to be bad for their draft pick? Is this a playoff team? I just don't know. And, and I'm, I don't know what to say. I, I need some help because I don't know what to, to feel about this team. Yeah, it's, it's a good point. I think what you're feeling is like, hey, we're winning games, but we're, we're probably not good enough to make the playoffs. We're sitting, I think, at number 10 right now in the AFC standings and teams like the Bills and Bengals and Texans who all seem to be playing better and who all seem to have their quarterback right now are – are are in front of us so realistically i know people say our schedule is gonna lighten up but we still have the Bengals. we still have the buccaneers i mean we still we still have uh you know a, a tough uh, a tough few games here and garner Minshew, and we talked about this quite a bit the the tapes out on him in indianapolis now he's definitely not what he was as a as a relief pitcher so to speak um i think if we were winning some of these games and we had anthony richardson the the optimism and the hype would be through the roof um, now that said, I, I think it's a testament to Shane Steichen for what he's been able to do with a very young Colts team in a roster that, Hey, on opening day or after the 53 man roster came out, when we looked at this roster, we were like, this is not good. But, and, and what they're able to do and, and, and win these games and be competitive in all these games, uh, and a season that a lot of people considered a, a throwaway season, like we were going to be picking top two, top three is it, very impressive. I mean, that's, that's just hats off to Shane and Chris Ballard for kind of hitting on some pieces like Josh Downs on the offense. Um, looks like Deo uh, coming off the edge is starting to pick up the pace a little bit, getting some pressure, uh, had, had some sacks today against the Patriots. Um, it's just, yeah, this this roster is coming together, but we're we're maybe lacking that young, exciting quarterback with Richardson being out, and it's kind of got us not quite like jumping out of our seats. Are you are you fearful like I am right now that we're kind of starting to tread towards um, just mediocre, which is pretty much the worst place to be in the NFL. Uh, you do, you either you know want to get bad enough that you're getting those draft picks, you're rebuilding, you're restocking. Uh, or do you think this is this is the next step, and and we're taking the next step, and then next year we'll take the next step, or uh, or am I just being too pessimistic? Uh, sh should I just be looking? Hey, we're five hundred, we have a chance for the playoffs, and, and should I get behind this team for the rest of the season that way? Yeah, I think you're being a little pessimistic, uh, just because teams that are mediocre and they struggle in the NFL that are like pick seventeen, pick sixteen, or something, they they don't have their quarterback of the future typically. We we do. Now he's out and, and he's coming back, but we're going to add that to our team and hopefully he's going to learn something from watching this. Uh, and, and he looked good when he played. So to me, um, I think if we do pick, let's say in between pick eight and pick 15, we can still get our big time receiver or maybe even more than that. Maybe the big time receiver isn't who we take in the first round. Maybe it's a cornerback and, and we could still be in a spot where we can make a move to pick higher in the draft and so on. Because I do think that there's going to be some quarterbacks going off the board next year, obviously. There's going to be Marvin Harrison Jr., who we both want, I think. But realistically, that that seems like a 
pretty slim chance at this point. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think I think this is good for the culture of the team. Uh, it, it's good for Shane to get some wins under his belt and, and kind of sh- maybe helps uh, helps his uh, the vision he's trying to cast when when they're actually winning games with. Keep in mind, Gardner Minshew at quarterback. Yeah, I, I, and and I do I do think that is something that that I think you're 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 right on when you're saying that. It's because where this team was and where they're trending is moving in 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 from uh, picking top four new coaching staff to now uh, 500 I- I midway through the season and uh, are showing some signs that, that they can put together some structure uh, to win games, which is a really good thing. And so uh, it's just hard when you play a, a Patriots team that is just just bad and you know you win kind of ugly uh yeah. you know and it just wasn't even uh, that exciting and you wake up early and you watch this game and you're like oh, man like what am i watching here it's almost hard to watch but uh you know there are some positives i don't want to take away hey zaire uh, franklin still you know just just dominating just all over the place um you know our secondary uh you know again it hasn't been the best they made some plays today uh which was great you mentioned the pass rush started to get home a little bit uh, which is is huge, and and so uh, I just want to see a little bit more, I guess, from that defense. But hey, we got the win, so I, I guess I need to cheer up a little bit. Yeah, I mean the defense kept them in today, but like you said, just lacking lacking some pieces. Obviously, the offense has been stagnant now the last two weeks. I mean, this was our first game of the season where we didn't score over twenty points. Um, hey, a win's a win, and and we'll we'll take it. We're entering the bye week now, so uh, we'll we'll get we'll get healed up. And um, you know, I guess my last point is. Entering last season, we had Matt Ryan at quarterback. We had Stephen Gilmore. We had all these pieces, and, and the expectation was high. And, and boy, did that team fall flat. So, and and, and comparing that to this year with the how thin we we are at receiver, how thin we are at uh, cornerback with a rookie quarterback. Now it's Gardner Minshew at quarterback. It, it really is. Again, I, I can't say it enough. Shane Steichen is. I think he's a real deal. I, I just think Shane's. He's really proven that he is a great hire for the Colts and I'm excited for what he's going to bring for the next five, 10 years as the coach of the Colts. Yeah. And, and we talked about it a few episodes back about uh Shaq Leonard. Yeah, man, kind of rough day today. Done. Don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah. And just more comments, obviously last week, it's really bad. It's, it's always bad. In my opinion, I get mad when players say stupid stuff, but like when they say stupid stuff and then they perform poorly, it's, it's even worse. It's like, okay, dude, like that, just shut up. Just shut up. (laughs) So, well, I think I'm sure Ballard is going to deal with that this off season. Um, Hey man, we got some, a lot of stuff to talk about guys. And if if you're interested in joining us in the ride, we're very close to 2000 subs. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, comment below your thoughts on the game. And Hey, thanks for watching the comic cult podcast.